This time in two weeks it will be Christmas Day and hopefully if you've been a good boy or girl you're going to get a little visit from the world's most famous man. No, it's not Xi Jinping, it's the guy flying around my head. And welcome to this very weather call. Can I say weather call or have I just made up a new word? With rain. Thunder. And snow. This is the James Neal Cooper channel. A very, very warm welcome indeed. Now, let's hop into it straight away without further ado. Yes, there is going to be reading. Yes, there is going to be reading. Oh my God, good luck everyone. This article I found on a website called Down to Earth and Landslide Destroys Hydropower Plant in China's Free Gorges Dam and 5,000 vulnerable points have been identified in the region in frequent disasters. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grandparents and parents and everyone, it's time how not to read an article. Are you ready? Let's do it. According to the chief engineer of the Regional Geographic Survey team in Sichuan's Province Geology and Ministry Bureau, the region has already become a disaster prone. The reason that is the incident got so much attention was because it was the first hydropower plant in the Free Gorges that has been destroyed, he told a certain website the other day. A forum for discussion and analyst of environmental change to the river systems watersheds of the Himalayas. He adds there are 5,000, 5,000 danger points. Collapses, landslides, dangerous cliffs and banks have been identified in the region. Geologists have warned frequent disasters in the Free Gorges Dam region of China after a landslide destroyed the hydropower station in Hubei province, Zigui County, earlier in September, reports from Eco Business and other online publications. At present, China has over 45,000 small hydropower plants nationwide, generating over 51 gigawatts of power, with another 20 gigawatts capacity under construction. Despite the associated risks, investments have not been hampered. It feels like these reports constantly come out throughout the year and it's quite amazing that there are very few reports that come out of China throughout the year. I know that a lot of people are concentrating on the boycott of the Olympic Games because of certain things, serious things which are happening in China which of course China denies. This is going really out of topic. This is something that China has got to start improving so people start to believe in China again. Like way back when China was the Republic of China, a long time ago. But every time China says something, it just seems to be a porcupine lie. And this gets the distrust of the international community against China. Have you noticed I kept on doing this quite a lot recently? Let me put my hands down here. Now, if China starts telling the truth and is more open, they will get more respect and then they will get more trust if you tell the truth. Obviously, secrets in every country are there for the protection of the population or just the average Joe, you and I, basically. Fine. But the things which are open, keep it open, don't deny it all the time. Remember, China, every story has two sides. It's not just one side. And the list, especially over the last, oh, I could say, six or seven years, is just getting longer and longer and longer. Now, let's have a look at the musical weather. We haven't done musical weather for a time. And also the levels of the Free Gorges Dam. And also Chongqing Kutan looks like this. Silent night, holy night, all is calm. i 
really is all the information I got for the Free Georgia Dam for today. Hopefully I can dig some more dirt out tomorrow. But I would just like to go to an article that was published earlier this year in the Financial Times related to some of the Western communist shills who live in China and will deny all the facts related to or the allegations to things which happened in uh, Sinjuan. Sorry, in the northwest. Xinjiang, I think the pronunciation. My mouth is down by my feet today. Can't get it out correctly. And I'm not going to read these articles. You'll be very glad to hear. <laughs> but you can put it on pause because if you wanted to get the article from the Financial Times all the time, you would have to pay for it. But I found a source on. I just found a source basically who has got this article for you to read. And it, con it concentrates on uh, what Lao Wai 86 says. Now, Lao Wai 86 is an American, I do believe, in Pennsylvania who has lived in China for 10 years, speaks and reads Chinese, etc. Um, he calls them the commie bunch, <laughs> like the Brady bunch. You know, here's a lady. Da -da -da -da. Who was bringing up three children on the road? That one, you remember the TV show? Yep, yeah, fantastic. In England, it used to be 5.15 on ITV when I was a child on a Monday. Couldn't wait for that show. I'm really going off topic. And you do have maybe like six, seven, eight of them who will always do the actual Chinese narrative. At the moment, of course, they're saying about the boycott of the Olympic Games, the Winter Olympic Games in 2022, and they're all saying, we don't care if the diplomats come or not. Okay? And, but you see, they are just people living in China, and that they always go with the Chinese government narrative. Of course, living in China, they can't actually, uh, they can't actually, what? say anything bad about Tibet or Hong Kong or the country of Taiwan otherwise quite simply they'd be thrown out so they're using Western media to or YouTube basically to actually advertise the narrative even though YouTube is banned in China it's sort of like this lovely gray area where they get away with and do have a read I'm going to just put it all together and I, you just pause the video and you can read it in your own free will. You can agree with it entirely because I certainly do because so much of the time these people do get busted and, and busted and debunked because it's just a complete load of fairy tales. It's like Disney in China. It's just so unbelievable. Uh, but they obviously get paid a bucket load of money, like two, three, four thousand American dollars per video. And that's been sort of like proven as well, again, by some uh, um, a YouTube channel in China, in America called ADV Podcast. Do check them out. I'll put a description, if I remember, underneath the mug in the description below. Did I say description twice in two sentences? Great time. That brings us to a close for today. As always, if you have the time to hit the subscribe button, that would be absolutely fantastic. If you like the show, then give me a thumbs up. Comments in the comment form before, below. Share it with your friends. I don't know what's happening with YouTube, but my subscribers are constantly going down by about 40 a day. I'm just thinking it's old subscribers who haven't watched the show for a long time. It's okay. But um, I'm still determined to get up to 30,000, maybe by 2023. There's a new target for you. I really don't understand the algorithms of YouTube, and I think no one really understands it. But for the people who do watch my show daily and the members, thank you so much for your time. Be good, be well, be safe. I'm out of here. Ali Vadachi. Bye-bye.